Hi, welcome. It's um, Wednesday, July the 10th, and the release date is the 20th. And I've just uh, created a new kind of look for GNOME. Lots of things have changed, so I just want to go over it. It's also the only ISO that will contain the number 10 behind it. So the official release is 1907-09. 60 ISOs were built of it, and we've uh, vamped or tweaked or themed our GNOME version, and only this one will have the version 10. Now, what's changed? Well, the wallpaper has changed, the icons have changed, and I've just made also a tutorial um, how to actually the the back office how to actually add an AOR package to our repo and that's this, this little guy up here that is there and it used not to be there so in the tweaks we have a new extension in the system and it's called case status notifier item it was not there previously it's there now so the nice thing about it is if applications out there are putting something in the tray well it's not standard thing you know that they get there that they have they are part of this system that's specific to GNOME but if you have case status notifier installed hopefully and it's it is, is indeed the case with variety it is in there now the other thing I kind of hated uh, in the sense that uh, when I was on this desktop system I was missing something there are two things you should know about GNOME. One is the word settings. Okay, settings. See, you can get in here. And the other thing you need to see, you've just seen it, is the tweak thing. So the tweaks for GNOME. So these two guys govern your system. If it's not in here, you will need to Google. But it's many of these things are in here. So what changed here? Um, let's start with the left one. We've changed, it was already our dark, we changed to start the arc, so no longer the mono look at the wallpaper, so that's this one, and the lock, uh, or the, the lock screen is an alcohol wallpaper as well. Yes, that's true. Um, and what else? Extensions, this is on. Fonts is changed, not all sounds regular. Used to be Cantorel, so not all sounds is a little bit nicer, still not very happy with these letters up here but hey that's what we can do um there's the rest i don't think i've added the weekday as well the weekday is now currently there and i found that this was interesting center new windows so you when you open something up ctrl t by the way is working it's centered you see so that's the uh, the other thing that I was not happy about in this system, you can lose a lot of time in GNOME finding stuff. I've lost lots of time finding one tip. Here are the keyboard shortcuts hidden away underneath. You don't see it. You need to scroll, you need to click. And then here are the keyboard shortcuts. They are filled. We have them all again, like the new guys, aim, rotate, conky. So a super C activates the conky, it's there. A control alt page up is there, page down, etc. So these, these things uh, actually will work and that's great. So new keyboard shortcuts, lots of them. Super F, Pahoo control, uh, control alt P, or PAMAC updater, all centered you see when something opens up. Control alt W is sublime text and so on. So these guys are now available and the GNOME Control Center, which is an interesting one, Control alt m but it's this, all right? So this is Control alt m close this up and you have Control alt m and it's back. Now the other tip I wanted to show you as well is also in here. That's the default application. I've been looking for that also for hours when I started out in GNOME. So those are the two tips there, hidden away. You open it up, you need to maximize it don't see the sliders and then you have all these options down here okay so that's uh, more or less what changed a lot of things Control shift escape and they all will work all the keyboard shortcuts are in there um, the fancy stuff control Firefox and Vivaldi and Chromium and all the things we need and use work 
uh, Control Alt right mouse click. Uh, sorry, Alt right mouse click. Next one, an Alt N, an Alt Previous, an Alt etc. All these keyboard shortcuts for variety. It all kicks in, and now at least I am a little bit more happy on my GNOME system, and I hope you are too. All right, enjoy it. Cheers. One last thing before I close the video. What if you have already a beautiful system and you don't want anything to change? Always back up, right? Control Alt No Super Shift Return opens up that one. Control H, Control C, Control V. This is your thing, right? This is your awesome setup. Give it your own name. And when you do a scale and everything comes in, then you can compare these two guys, right mouse click. But remember, this is not, uh, as you see, help about TrueNAR. So it's gonna need, let's have a look. It should give you, oh, here it is, a compare. I just uh, overlooked. So you can look at them and see what changed. And that's the only thing that changed at this point in time. And by the way, this is the key what changed everything that um, has been changed in gnome is in here the dconf user there's just one very important tip let's include this in this video maybe make a separate and think about that but one of the things that are were bugging me this morning this morning was if you are going to create a desktop setting for everybody it's got to be, you need to see scale, you know that. But when I copy paste this guy over, this contains all the settings of your GNOME system, right? So when you need it, when you, you want to copy this over, scale won't cut it. If I delete this thing here and I keep talking, GNOME will put its an, an user config back. So I say, how is that possible? We have the same... Uh, configuration back at some point in time it will do it let's maybe pause it's not kicking in right now there you go two seconds later he puts something back there is an user configuration database back in place i did not do a copy paste from the new one to here so this is very very tricky guys just delete this thing and as quick as possibly move it back up back uh, to the other place but recheck again. I well, um, this this point in time, I'm really paranoid. I really want to know that I'm actually having the new version. It should be exactly the same time, same um, amount of kilobytes, etc. Right? And then it will kick in. Scale will not do it. You have to do this manually. But like I said, if you want to keep everything, then of course, then you have this. Um, oh, back up here. Then you have your own config, awesome here, and you need to get this guy back to the other uh, config. The same way, same approach, delete, move, check, 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 recheck. And then, no frustrations, you'll boot up into the newer settings of um, GNOME, or your settings of GNOME. That's the point, right? So, there you go, this is included in the video, and an important obstacle if you're on GNOME. All the settings, everything you change in settings, everything you change in tweaks is in that database, in Dconf user. So it's super important, you know, what, what the trouble is, what you uh, may encounter if you do a scale. You will not copy paste it over. You need to do it manually. All right. Okay. Have fun with this new look. It's going to be released under number. So nine, uh, number 10, 1907, 10, and all the rest stay just nine. All right, cheers.